Hey, welcome back. This is Carlos with DatingAdviceGuru.com and I got seven, yeah, a whole seven blind date tips for that first date. You know, I can't think of any more stressful an experience than having to go meet somebody that you've never met before, build up all these hopes to have a romance with them, which are usually dashed upon the rocks of, what the heck were you thinking hooking me up with this guy? Look, let's face it. You usually you're bitterly disappointed at the results of blind dates, but we do it again and again, hoping for different results. You can get success with blind dates if you know what you're doing. But there's a couple of truths I wanna clue you in on. Blind date truth number one, blind dates are created from ego. The sore truth is that most of our friends mean well, they really do, and they also really aren't thinking very much when they set us up with people. Most people don't really understand what kind of foundation is required to have a real romance, a lasting relationship with somebody. So when our friends set us up, they rarely think about chemistry or shared values. Instead, they're thinking about how nice it would be to get credit for having created that romance. Blind date truth number two is that blind dates are created from familiarity. We go along with these dates based on one thing usually, the desire to meet somebody that somebody else can speak for. In other words, this is something about security more than it is about romance. We tend to want to stay with methods of meeting people that keep us connected to somebody that we know, kind of like a chain of trust. Blind date truth number three, blind dates are uncomfortable for both of you. It's always going to be weird to meet somebody new, no matter how well vetted and reviewed they are. It's instinctive for humans to be cautious and nervous around new people. It's not something you can overcome instantly, but you can focus on opening yourself up before the date, which actually leads me to the first of my seven blind date tips. Blind date tip for attraction number one, prime yourself for success. Priming is something we're not told about, but it has a significant effect on our life without us even knowing that it's guiding us. These crazy scientists performed an experiment where they had a group of people split into two different groups. One group held a mug full of hot coffee. The other group held a mug full of ice cold water. And after that, they had the two groups shake hands and meet a complete stranger. And then they were recording how they felt about that person. Well, guess what happened? 80% of the people who held the hot coffee felt the other person was warm and friendly. 80% of the people who held the ice water felt the other person was chilly, cold, and unfriendly. This is the process of priming. We tend to transfer those feelings over to the people that we meet. It's a gut process that we think of as instinct, but in reality, it's just your conditioning getting in the way. So prime yourself for success before by having a little bit of gratitude before you go out on the date. Just focus on three things you're grateful for and do this as part of your morning ritual. Blind date tip for love number two, first impressions are. You may have heard a bit of both sides on this one. Some people say first impressions are always right. Trust your intuition. Some people say first impressions can be misleading. Don't trust them. First impressions are neither right nor wrong. They just are. I believe you have to respect your first impression by recognizing it. If something feels good, why is that? If it feels weird to you, why is that? Quantify that feeling in your body, see where it comes from and why. And once you know that, now you can decide whether or not to give them the boot or give them a second chance. Blind date tip for success number three is to stay positive. Even if you're normally a little bit on the sarcastic and snarky end of the spectrum, yeah, that's me, I'm guilty of this, you should do everything you can to stay positive and light in your conversation. If I look back on all my past dates, I can see now that those I started off with with a bit of a darker edge, they never really went anywhere. Even if we both shared that humor and direction, it only colored our attitudes towards each other. So if he starts complaining or going negative, you stay on the lighter side. I believe a woman can take a powerful role in all relationships by being the leader and helping men show their better side. Blind date tip for love number four, alcohol is good until it's not. <laughs> Let's be brutally real here. A drink is good to loosen up and relax if you're okay with alcohol and you have it under your control. But after two drinks, there's a distinct haziness that starts to creep in and it can make people think they're attracted even when they're lowering their boundaries quite a bit. Remember, you need clarity in your thinking when you're first meeting somebody, not more hazy eyes. You wanna have your eyes wide open for the blind date. Blind date tip for love number five is to keep your sense of humor no matter what. Let's face it, life is absurd. If you don't believe it, go take a look at the news on any website you happen to visit. I firmly believe that everything in life can be joked about, from the cruel and serious to the ridiculous and insane. And nowhere do we need to keep our sense of humor more intact than in, well, let's say the often disheartening process of trying to meet our next great love. Hey, it's all funny in retrospect, so why not get started laughing now? Blind date tip for love number six, if it's going bad, dance with it. 
Sometimes you're just going to run into a complete turkey. This guy's going to make you wonder if he's the one that's in charge of trolling all the YouTube videos and leaving all those idiotic comments. Do what you can to kick this guy in the butt to make him more fun. Do whatever you can. Give him a shot. But you know what? If he's still a schmuck, well then just lose him and get on with your life. I never advocate wasting your precious time with an idiot. Just take a minute to let him know where you're coming from and why you're not really enjoying his company. Oh yeah, I know, it's not a comfortable thing to do to tell a guy this, but there's a good chance it's coming from his nervousness, and there's an even bigger chance he's never even heard it from somebody. Blind date tip for love number seven, act like the date you want him to be. I mentioned that I believe women can take the leadership role in the date, and that doesn't mean that you have to organize it or lead him through it. What I mean is that women can lead from the heart, while her date might be following with his uh, uh, sex drive. It, this is okay. This is the way men and women have gotten together for tens of thousands of years. It's a natural flow of energy that creates the flow of desire and challenge that fuels love. And it's always good for a man to experience the calm power of a woman that is setting the expectations and setting the stage for the date with her own femininity. And if you act like the date that you want him to be, you'll make it clear from the very start that you're a woman of calm confidence and power. You don't need to jump in bed with them right away. You don't need to get drunk to make the night enjoyable. You don't need to lower your standards or change your beliefs for his approval. You only need to be you. But you know what? You is enough. And I've got a great video to tell you how to lower those barriers that you may unconsciously have put in place. This needs to be dealt with ASAP, otherwise it could permanently drive away the one that's destined for you. If you'd like to know how to be truly irresistible without giving up your core identity, head on over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash irresistible. That's datingadviceguru.com forward slash irresistible. And I'll show you how to be the irresistible woman that every man craves. I'll be talking again soon and always live and love with passion.